Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a rig to a 3D model of a Google Android. Uh, the original model was created by Chris Ocapinti. I'll put a link to his website on my website. Before you add the rig, uh, it's important to remove any residual scale or rotation. Uh, you want rotation to be 0 and scale to be 1. To remove the scaling, go to Object apply scale and that is reset to one okay we're making more complex models here with structure and relationship between parts and it's important to have the scaling and the rotation reset this has got a little bit of scale so I go to object apply scale and that is reset to one I've checked the other parts they're all fine so we're ready to add the rig you go to add armature name for a rig a skeleton is an armature and it consists of a set of bones so I add the first bone the bone is there but it's inside the mesh how do we get to see it well in the properties window we have two new buttons the uh, data for the armature the entire armature and the data for the selected bone in the uh, armature button, if you there's an X-ray property. If you check that, you can now see the bones through any mesh. We're in object mode. To add and edit bones, we need to be in edit mode. Now I can press G to grab. Now that's rotating because the tail of the bone was selected. Uh, a bone has a head and a tail. The wide end is the head, the tapered end is the tail. Um, let's move the 3D cursor out of the way. If you select in the middle, you select the whole bone. Uh, G to grab, move that down. It's a bit small. Normal keys, S to scale, make that a bit bigger. G to grab. Now, the new bone will come from the head from the tail of the previous bone and I, it'll pivot at that point so I want the tail of the bone to be just at the base of the head how do you add a new bone E to extrude and drag the mouse it creates a new bone that is a child of the previous bone and connected to it as you go along it's a good idea to name your bones so I'll name this bone uh, Uh, back, backbone, and the headbone is connected to the backbone. Okay, so I'm ready now to add a bone for the arm. Now there's a facility in Blender where uh, anything you do with one side of the skeleton can be mirrored on the other side, and that obviously saves a lot of time. How do you turn that facility on? Well, again, when you're working with armatures and bones, there's a new mode called Pose Mode available. And turn the x-axis mirroring on. You go into Pose Mode, and there is the option, and you check that. Okay, to add and edit bones, you must be in Edit Mode. I'll use the backbone as the source. I'm going to extrude a new bone. Uh, to get the mirroring, you have to do Shift and E to get the mirrored bone and now I get two bones instead of one but I want to place that bone inside the arm uh, I'm going to have to break the connection to break the connection to break parenting it's alt and p and clear parent and if I grab now that it's both disconnected I want to rotate 90 degrees rotate n for numerical value 90 press enter G to grab and I want this time it will pivot around the head of that bone so I want it just there on the arm okay I want the leg bones so to get two bones for the price of one it's shift and E and that will give me the mirrored two bones 
to break the connection it's alt and p and clear parent that allows me to grab g for grab move the bone r to rotate 90 degrees n 90 enter g to grab and we'll put that rotation point about there i haven't named these bones uh, because mirror is on it adds capital l for left and capital r for right so if i name the arms and i keep those extensions to the name and the legs And finally, the last leg. The next thing we want to do is uh, reconnect the limbs to the backbone. To create a parent relationship, you select the child first, hold down shift, select the parent, and control and P creates a parent re relationship. Now we had a, we didn't want them connected. Obviously, you want to keep the offset with mirror on. It's done both. To parent this bone to the backbone, select the child bone first. Shift, select the parent, and Control and P, keeping the offset. Okay, let's have a look at that in pose mode. In pose mode, you can pose your character so if I select G now to grab uh, that bone is constrained because it's connected to the backbone so that's the only movement you can get out of it if I select the backbone G and grab it all the bones are children so wherever the backbone goes the children goes with, go with it now uh, if I select the arm bone, G to grab, but the child is free at the moment to move wherever it wants. We don't want that. How can we fix that to the skeleton? Well, the method I'm going to use is the inverse kinematics uh, constraint. How do we do that? We select the arm bone, and now we have bone constraints, and I select inverse kinematics and that is added now uh, with inverse kinematics with the example of uh, the arm of a human being you could move a finger to a new position and the computer would work back up the chain of bones from the finger through the hand through the lower arm up the upper arm and put those all in the right position to match where you move the finger to uh, because we've got a very simple rig, we've only got one bone, we only want to chain back one. So the chain length is one. Uh, that hasn't been mirrored, so we have to come over to uh, the other arm with uh, bone constraints selected, add inverse kinematics, set the chain length to one, and we have to do that for the legs. And that's done. Okay, now if I go to move any of the limbs, G to grab, they too are now uh, locked to the skeleton. But the mesh didn't move, just the bone. How do we move the mesh? We have to bind the mesh to the bones. How do we do that? Again, with parenting. So I need to select the mesh and I need to bind it, make the bone the parent. So I have to select the mesh and the bone. Now, the easiest way to select the mesh when you're in pose mode is using the outliner. So I'm going to select the arm. Hold down shift. Do you notice it's gone into object mode? That's 
fine hold down shift select the bone and you go back into pose mode now to re to bind it it's a creating a parent relationship again control and p and select bone and now i have to go through all the parts of my mesh linking them to bones so the other arm select the arm shift and select the bone control and p and bone so uh, just going to go through every part now hold down shift bone control p select my next bit do you notice how the meshes are disappearing into the armature hold down shift select the bone it takes us back into pose mode control and p bind that mesh to the bone um, the body i want to be bound hold down shift to the backbone control and p okay uh, we're just left with the head hold down shift control and p and you know you've done it when all your bits of your mesh are in your armature now if i go into well i'm in pose mode now if i select the arm bone and i do g to grab then the mesh follows it and there is our android waving goodbye uh, i will put the original model without a mesh without a rig and the final model with the rig on my website freemovies.co.uk at the blender channel there thanks for watching and goodbye